Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video of a full face of all drugstore makeup. I did try to use more affordable brushes as well, but they're definitely not ones that you can find at the drugstore. Most of them are Morphe, but they are very inexpensive and really good quality for the price. So I did try to use those as much as I could. I do have some more high-end ones, like Sigma, but they always go on sale anyway, so you can always use a coupon code for them. So I did try to keep it as cheap as possible. All of the products I did use on my face are things you can find at Walmart, CVS, Rite Aid, Walgreens, your local drugstores. And please subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up if you like videos like this and I can film more for you. So if you want to see how to get this look using all drugstore makeup, then just keep on watching. I'm going to use my NYX Angel Veil Primer to prime my face. Put some on my finger. Just a little bit because it's very silicone-y. Sorry that you can see the mirror here, but I changed my whole setup and I can't really angle it anywhere that it can't be seen, so. So I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal True Match in the shade Warm. This is my summer shade though, so I'm also going to mix in my Milani Conceal and Perfect in the shade Natural. Just to make it slightly lighter. I'm going to mix that and dot it on my face. I'm going to use my Sigma F82 Round Kabuki brush to blend that in. Now since this is still slightly dark on me, I'm just going to take a little bit on my brush off the back of my hand and do my neck area to blend it a little better. Once I use concealer, it'll lighten it up a bit, but I don't want it to be like too big of a dramatic difference between my face and my neck. Now I'm just going to take my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the shade Light and conceal under my eyes and highlight other high points of my face. I'm going to use my Sephora 47 brush to blend that out. And you can see how just highlighting with concealer made my foundation look a lot lighter and not like super dark on me. <laughs> now to set the concealer, I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Contour Palette in the shade Caramel Toffee. I'm going to take my Hakuhodo brush and this yellow banana powder to set it. Now to set the rest of my face, I'm going to take my other shade of the contour palette. It's called Dolce de Leche. I'm going to take this pale shade on my Sonia Kashuk number one brush and I'm just going to set the rest of my face. So I've already primed my eyes using my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. Going into my Milani palette in the shade Must Have Naturals. I'm going to take my Morphe M433 brush and this shade right here. And I'm just going to put that in my crease. In the same palette with the same brush, I'm going to go in with this more gray tone brown shade and also run that in my crease, focusing more on the outer corner. Going into my comfort zone Wet n Wild palette, I'm going to take a Sigma E25 brush and go in with this bronzy shade all over my lid. This palette has been used and abused and I actually broke it off the hinge there. Whoops. Going back into my Morphe M433 with nothing on it, I'm just going to blend between my crease and that lid shade we just put down. Now taking the other side of that Sigma E25 brush, I'm going to go in with this light shade up here for the brow bone highlight. And just place that in the center of the lid to lighten it up a little bit.
Going into my Milani palette in the shade Earthy Elements, I'm going to take that same Morphe M433 with this red shade here and just add that to my crease to give it a little more color. These shades are very, very pigmented and pretty easily blendable for their price point. They're very nice. I love both Wet n Wild and Milani products and they happen to be like one of the cheapest ones in the drugstore. Now taking my tiny Sigma E21 brush and this very light shimmery champagne color from the first Milani palette we used, I'm just going to highlight my inner corners. Whew, that's pigmented. With the Morphe M433 again, I'm going to go in with this second shade that we used in the crease initially on my lower lash line. Going in with my tried and true Maybelline Unstoppable Liner, I'm just going to line my waterline. Now I'm going to go in with my Rimmel Scandalize Mascara. The wand on this is very similar to my favorite Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Black Mascara. I love it so much. And this is the final look for the eyes. And now we can finish off the face. Using my Morphe M527 and my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, I'm just going to bronze my face. This stuff smells so good. There's like never a time that I use it that I can't just like smell it. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like coconut rum and like tanning oil. It's amazing. Just for a little more of a contour, I'm going to go in with my Morphe E8 brush and in the contour shade in the Dolce de Leche Wet n Wild palette and just give myself a little more of a straight line. Yes. Ooh, girl. Moving on to blush, I'm gonna take my Milani Luminoso blush. It's so pretty. It's like a very luminous blush, as it suggests. It's a nice corally baked blush. I'm gonna take my e.l.f. Cosmetics blush brush. Just put that on the cheeks. If you're someone that's not into like crazy highlighting like I am, you can even just get away with using this blush and it will give you a slight sheen because it's luminous on its own. Like it just gives me a little bit of something along with some color, but I like highlights so I'm going to be going in with a lot more. So for highlight, I'm going to take my Wet n Wild highlight. It's huge and it's very golden. The pink doesn't show up that much in it, so don't worry if that's something that freaks you out about this. It's a gigantic pan. Like, look at this compared to my face. And it's only like $5, maybe a little less than that. Maybe $4 in chains. It's amazing. Some people say it's actually a dupe for the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. I was actually thinking about filming a Pinterest dupes video, so let me know if that's something you're interested in. Give the video a like, and I will definitely consider that. But for now, I'm just going to use this one for my drugstore video. This is in the shade Boozy Brunch. I'm going to take that on my Morphe M501 brush. Oh my god. I love this highlight. It's such a soft formula too. It's like, it's very hard to explain. The Laura Geller one is definitely more of a stiff formula. It's very hard. This one is just so soft and it's very pigmented for the price. It's amazing. Ooh, girl. Highlighted to filth. So now, as per usual, I'm going to take my NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in the shade Espresso. Just run this through my brows, just to give them a little more color and look a little more filled in, because I do have some sparse areas. Now for the final product, my lips. I do have the entire NYX lingerie collection. <laughs> um, let me know if you want to see a swatching video of that. I can swatch every one of these shades on my lips. They are very nice. They're all different shades of nudes. I have heard a lot of really bad reviews about them, but I do actually really like them myself. They are definitely drying, but I mean, every liquid lip is to me. 
but they are definitely pigmented and they stay on all day. The only thing that people complain about really is that it separates a lot, so you do have to either like shake it or like pump the wand in it to mix it up together. But I definitely think they are well worth the money, especially because usually NYX is like buy one get one 50% off on like Ulta or something. So just keep your eye out for sales. But let me know if you want to see a video on that because I will definitely film that one. I'm just going to pick which one I think I would like today. I'm going to go in with the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in number 12, which is the shade Exotic. It's a nice red shade and I'm feeling it today. And this is the final look. I've actually never done a full face of just drugstore makeup, so I do actually really like how this turned out, and I'm very impressed with everything. I mean, these are products that I have owned for a while and I've used before, but I'm definitely really enjoying it. So give it a big thumbs up if you want to see more affordable videos, or I can just try out new products at the drugstore, and I can definitely do a Pinterest dupes video and also do swatches of all the NYX lingerie shades if you're interested. Give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.